Well, here's that brand new advisory for now Hurricane Lee as anticipated this uh, travel formerly was Tropical Storm Lee has now upgraded to Hurricane Category 1 with 75 mile per hour winds as of the brand new 5 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center moving to the west northwest at about 14 miles per hour. Let's take a look at the forecast go now it's still keeping this and that strengthening trend into a category two storm approaching tomorrow afternoon and then we'll continue to see that process here into category three major hurricane status by Friday afternoon pushing 150 mile per hour winds here between Saturday and Sunday maintaining category four status into the beginning of the next work week. A key part of this uh, very strong rather pa pa pattern here of strengthening into the next several days is what we've mentioned before the low wind shear environment ahead of the storm and along the track that it will be taking here as it moves to the west northwest over the next couple of days. The lower wind shear that's where we can see strengthening with storms across the tropics. Meanwhile the inverse here when we see higher wind shear that tends to tear up uh, rather those storms and that's where we can see weaker storms from time to time. So here's a look at water temperatures. I did want to bring in and kind of overlay Lee with what we're currently seeing very warm water temperatures across the Atlantic and especially where Lee is positioned where we're seeing on average here uh, the Atlantic sea surface temperatures are running about a degree warmer than normal and actually looking at those water temperatures currently and overlining that here with the model plots into the next couple of days for Lee. This is going to be continuing to track across upper 80s here for those sea surface temperatures as this scrapes by north of the rather the Antilles and the Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands at that as well. I did want to show the comparison between the spaghetti model plots over the last couple of hours comparing yesterday to today where again we still see consistency with that turn to the north which is the, the trend that we like to see but some models have been inching Lee a little farther south and a little farther west likely due to high pressure across the Atlantic which is going to keep Lee pinned farther south as it tracks the west northwest before we eventually see where we're still seeing the signal for a turn to the north both with the American and the European here keeping this hundred hundreds of miles east of Florida. This is still something we're going to keep a close eye on. Also bringing in the Atlantic Basin here with other disturbances that we're keeping tabs on, particularly this tropical wave off of the coast of Africa that has a medium chance of development. And if it does become a named storm, the next name here on the list is Margo. Let's take a look at the forecast here.